Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is about Corel Draw 2018 Object of Path or Fit Object of Path. It's pretty cool. In just a few seconds, you can draw something like that. You know, it could be the start of a leaf, and you can mirror it, or you know, make a flower. Or, you know, we've never really been a new object of path before. Let's just take a two-point line, and I've done a video on object of path, but right down in here you can have a rotation so we're going to go progressive 45 degrees and i'm going to tell it to keep my original i've got it checked right there so i've got that selected i'm going to hit the shift key and select my path then i'm going to apply it started progressively slanting them i mean that's cool in itself but if you see i kept my original you don't have to use a straight line. You could use a freehand line and grab your item first. Hold down the shift key. Grab your path. And it actually starts trailing off there too much on my curve. But that's one thing good about keeping your original. You've got it right there. Uh, I like this new tool. I mean, there's a lot you could do with this. You could, uh, that's a unique looking fern already. I could see it in a drawing. You know, take this one right here, get rid of your path, select it all, control G for grouping it, control D to make a duplicate of it, hold down that bar and, and mirror it over. I mean, that already looks like I mean, something that would take you hours to draw, even with the blend tool. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.